Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here and 2022 has been a crazy year for television. Most networks are still kind of licking their wounds from COVID because they lost advertisers, viewers kind of jumped up on some shows and normally wouldn't and so on and so forth. And so networks right now are reevaluating which TV shows they want to keep for 2023. And this upcoming week is a very important week, which we'll talk about in a second. Before we do, please go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up as we break down all of the new cancellations for 2022. But let's get started. For those who don't know, coming soon, very shortly, is Upfronts Week. For those who don't know what that is, it is a time of year where networks get together and try to sell advertising space for their TV shows. Now, why is this important? Well, it's when a lot of the pilots for the new shows are getting aired for the first time, not for us, but for networks and advertisers. They're gonna watch these shows and go, hey, you know what, I like it, I don't like it. This is very important for networks because it's during this time where they see, hey, advertisers don't like this show, we might have to cancel it, or we may not air it. Or let's only do six episodes, which is a half a season, just to see how it fares out. Well, it is also during this time where networks look at the ratings of other shows and say, you know what? That's really not doing well. We're not going to make money on it. Let's cancel it at the end of this year, or maybe canceling it halfway through the year, or you know what, let's end it right now. Or it's a time of year where they let networks and advertisers know, hey, look, we're not bringing this show back. It costs too much, so on and so forth. With that being said, that leaves us with a ton, and I mean a ton of TV shows that are gonna be gone at the end of this year whether they're canceled, whether they're just kind of retiring, whether there's underlining stuff that we're probably never gonna know about, there is a massive list this year. So I wanted to go ahead and take a video just to kind of break down these shows. We'll break them down in different categories. You know, we've got talk shows, dramas, comedies, reality TV shows, and um, there's gonna be some on this list that you may not even know at this moment because they really haven't, they've come out and they said that this is gonna be the end or maybe they haven't even said it yet but this is the week we're starting to get the news. We're gonna start off with the veteran dramas. There's two different kinds of dramas. You've got like those that have been on for a while, they get like a massive rating hit, and you get other ones that are kind of like rookie dramas. So let's start off with the veteran ones, including The Walking Dead, that's no surprise. They announced it a while ago. Of course, you get the spinoffs. This Is Us is ending this year. I know, that's kind of surprising. Next is, and I can't believe this because I love this show, The Marvelous Ms. Maisel. I don't know why Amazon is getting rid of it. I think that maybe it just kind of ran its course. How long can you kind of go on with this? So it would be kind of cool to get a spinoff of the other characters. So uh, Amazon, I think that'd be a good idea. Next is Atlanta. I love that show. Donald Glover, he does a great job. Uh, but I can kind of see the character is kind of stalled a little bit in the progression, so I kind of understand that one. Stranger Things, I feel like that one should have ended a while ago. It's kind of got a little too crazy, but I'm actually excited to finally see a finale of that. Better Call Saul, if this is ending, I wonder if another Breaking Bad series is going to come? Something off of it? I don't know. You know, you have to say to yourself, what are the actors doing right now? I'm not too much, so you never know, you never know. And Peaky Blinders, which uh, this one kind of makes sense. As you know, one of the stars did pass because of, uh, well, let's just leave it at that. And so uh, it's sad to see that one go. Next would be the rookie dramas. So ones that are they're out there, they're just not as popular, such as Killing Eve. Ozark, which I do like that one, but I also feel like if you haven't watched the season finale, yeah, yeah uh, that's kind of how I'm going to leave it. I feel like it was kind of rushed, but... That's the way Netflix does their stuff. Next is Queen Sugar, Ray Donovan, and Bull. And I always liked Bull because they always filmed it in my old neighborhood in Queens. So we'd always go by and watch them film. Next are talk shows. And these talk shows are kind of like a weird mix of why they're getting shut down. Maury's getting shut down, and that show should have been gone a while ago. You know, Ellen is getting shut down for obvious reasons. The Wendy Williams show is getting shut down because of her health. Though this past week she announced that she's gonna be coming back. 
in the fall, but we know that Sherry Shepard is coming back and taking over her time slot. So that's kind of weird. Dr. Oz is done. You know, he's actually running for, I think, Congress in Pennsylvania. So that kind of makes sense. And the Nick Cannon show is done. Next is comedies with comedies. Blackish, you know, that is done. Great show. Grace and Frankie's done. Another Netflix show. That went on for a while, I feel like, right? We had Black Monday, Better Things, and Dead to Me. And finally, the last category, which is reality shows. And you know, there's a lot of them in hiatus, like The Masked Dancer. And I think that was a game, game of talent, a game, ta games of talent, whatever the heck that is. There's a lot of them that's kind of just like sitting there. We don't know what's happening to them. But the ones we know that are gone, which is Flip or Flop, I think it's very accurate <laughs> for this for this video right now. Either these shows are flipping or flopping. We have Ellen's Game of Games. Well, I, she's pretty much exiting everything. And she was also an executive producer of The Masked Dancer. So maybe that's why that show's not coming back. We have Pooch Perfect and Small Fortune. Those are, I would say, like the handful of shows. There are more out there, but some of them are shows that like, Lasted one season, barely got like 800,000 people watching an episode, not even noteworthy. But you let me know, is your favorite show on this list? Is there another show that we missed? Tell me in the comment section. I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. See you later. Bye.